Illuminati is a thing you need to watch out for They want to depopulate and save us so much more World domination, I'll get into that later I'm hardcore, fierce, and sexy You're just a hater, you deserve the ridicule Cause you're an absolute zero I'm the keeper of the chalice, a rock and roll hero I'm not an idiot nobody listens to Cause I'm not a failure in life like you Let's talk about the gates and the mark of the beast And the orgies in the streets at the Catholic feasts And Bill and Hillary's human trafficking ring And George Soros got the money to pay for everything Socialism is for losers, working for the devil, chumps that can't fight, they end on my level. It takes an evil one to try to debunk a doubter, so I'd rather die to stop talking about it. Watch out! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out for the Illuminati! Watch out, for the Illuminati! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out for the Illuminati! Watch out for the Illuminati! Broadcasting live. Actually, not really live. You're gonna catch this on your YouTube or Rumble later. Um, and all you hussies out there ought to let me do a little zoom, zoom, zoom in the poon, poon, if you know what I mean. Uh, now, with that said, there's this massive, massive epidemic of uncontrollable white supremacy going on out there. All right, well, Joe Biden says it's so, it must be so, right? He said it in that very, very, very undeniably divisive speech that he gave to that to all those innocent black youth at that all black college recently. And there you see there you see marching in the Capitol, as I've shown you in the beginning of this video. All those dangerous, dangerous white people. I mean, they kind of look like a bunch of disgruntled Best Buy workers to me, but whatever. Um, could it be possible? that these people are planted there. You gotta think about this from the mind of John Krantz. Is it possible that those people are planted there? You gotta remember what came out recently. And so, the, the evils of left media don't wanna cover it. And that's the fact that the Durham report, this thing has been going on for years, right? He's been investigating this stuff for years, carefully making sure no stone is unturned, every I dotted, every T crossed, and combing things over with a fine tooth comb, making sure Everything is thorough and everything is detailed. As um, John Durham does have a fine attention to detail. And the report finally came out and it exonerates Donald Trump. And it also uh, puts a lot of things open out there. I mean, it opens up the Clinton campaign and the Biden campaign and a lot of members of the media and Christopher Steele himself for uh, suspicion of criminal activity. 
and we got to say it that way. I mean, it's obvious that this was criminal activity, but we have to say it like that. We have to use that sort of language because uh, no, because we can't put certain things um, in black and white just yet. So basically. These, these hooligans and scallywags that were trying to bring down Donald Trump have egg on their face. Not just any egg, but completely ingested and digested egg all over their face. And they need a quick distraction. Okay, so... Let's assemble uh, a bunch of our crisis actors, the people w that were probably crying with a child's picture in their hand at the last school shooting, but uh, so that we don't recognize them, let's put masks on them and march them up the Capitol dressed like Best Buy workers. This way it correlates it correlates with uh, Biden's uh, divisive speech at the Black College. And uh, it distracts people. The more important part, it distracts people from the Durham report and the results of this Durham report that completely exonerates our nation's 45th president who is the single best president this particular century has known. And uh, that's all there is to it. They just want to distract people from the results of that Durham report. And so they're going to plant, they're going to plant these uh, air quotes white supremacists on the nation's capital. Now, don't get me wrong. I think there are people out there that, you know, have their head in the sand that, uh, that really believe that if you show a black somewhere, you're an automatic enemy. I believe there are people that are like that, but those people are such a joke that uh, you're not going to see a big army of them forming now. And if they are, they're assembled by the Democrats, who are, of course, the party that founded the KKK. And that's all I got to say. Stay strong, keep kicking that slang. But before even doing that, respect God, watch out for the Illuminati, and then stay strong and keep kicking that slang. It's your boy in the building. Well, actually, I'm outside. MC2 tall.